Okay, this step, we're going to drill a small hole right here. And the hole is for a locking pin such as this. Now this is just a regular toothpick that I stuck in here. You can use anything you like, but for me, this toothpick was handy, so it's just what I use. No special reason why. And we're going to want to drill the hole on the side that you started at 5 8 Earlier in the video I was saying 3 8 but it's supposed to be 5 8 So let's drill a hole approximately right there. Doesn't have to be exact. And drill to your with your favorite drilling method, either hand drill or drill press. Right here I'm using the Dremel workstation. Let me go ahead and get this turned on here. Turn it on. thing I need to point out. My scroll saw, right next to my scroll saw, I have the JDS brand air cleaner. So I will have this running during my cutting stage. So I'm going to be playing some music to take the place of me talking or noise from either machine. On this project, we're going to be using a spiral tooth blade. And there's no special reason I'm using a spiral blade on this. I normally would use a flat blade. And with this being one inch thick, I would use probably a number seven. But just for visual reasons for, for the video, I'm going to be using a spiral blade. And uh, just by chance, the only spiral blades I have in my arsenal are number zero. So... If you think about it, the wider the blade, the wider the cut's going to be. So the wider that the cut is, the more play you'll have in this snake. So uh, with a zero, size zero spiral, we're, we're just going to have to experiment and see what, how it comes out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my air cleaner. And Okay, after you make your first cut, take the piece out and put it aside. Flip your project 90 degrees and come in and make your second cut this way. Okay, just like the first piece, we're going to take this piece out, we're going to put it aside, and remember when you're putting these aside, keep them in order that you cut them in. You'll, you'll appreciate this when you go to put the puzzle back together. So we're going to flip this back to the original side, cut the third piece.
take this piece out, put it aside, flip this 90 degrees, we're going to cut out this piece now. You see what I just did? I squeezed this and broke a piece off right here. So we're going to have to glue that back together. So I'm going to put it aside. Take this out. Turning this back 90 degrees. Come back and cut this one. Try to be a little bit more careful on this one. I'll, hopefully I won't break it. Take this piece aside. Didn't even notice I had this on my table up here. A bunch of the Dremel accessories. Okay, I'm gonna flip this 90 degrees, go back and cut this one. Whoops, I just messed up. Cut the wrong one. Easy to do. I'll have to come back and fix that later. What I'll do is make some sawdust putty and fill that in. So let's go ahead and cut this. It's easy to mess this up.
The last piece is always the hardest one to cut.